this is um, another, just the most recent major test in my view of American leadership and the ability of the United States to rise to the occasion um, with bold, forceful leadership to bring about a better outcome than the situation that it inherits. Um, I would like to see an outcome which um, degrades significantly Hamas's missile capability. If we could dismantle Syria's chemical weapons, why shouldn't one of the goals of this operation being to dismantle Hamas's um, rocket capability? I would like to see, as my colleagues just said, an outcome which uh, deepens the U.S.-Egyptian relationship, at least on a strategic level, without derogating our right to speak forcefully about the human rights uh, situation inside that country. Um, I would also like to see us, um, uh, as my colleagues also indicated, strengthen the Palestinian Authority's role in Gaza. And I would like to see a much more emotive and personal uh, shoulder-to-shoulder ally um, projection of the U.S.-Israel relationship. Yes, um, President Obama um, referred to Israel's right to defend itself, but there was still something lacking, in my view, which is that concept of firm shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder ally, which publicly it's important to project, even if quietly the United States is working behind the scenes to broker uh, diplomatic ceasefires and understandings.